ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878. And today we are going to be looking at the Prisma Obex. I'm going give, to be giving a short review of it and a build for you guys. A couple of builds, actually. A couple of choices for this weapon. And I have to say that this weapon is hands down... Uh, my new favorite sparring weapon in Warframe. It does something that no other sparring weapon has been able to do thus far, and that is it's able to run a crit chance build and a status chance build and do both well, uh, which is not something that any other sparring weapon uh, can claim. Now, this weapon is relatively new. Uh, Baro Katir just recently started carrying it in his inventory, uh, but some basic stats for the weapon are uh, it does 25 physical damage, primarily in impact. And I know what you're thinking, Francois, that's awful. Yes, it's not the the base physical damage isn't great, but just but just hold on, let me let me explain. And I promise you, you'll be impressed. Uh, the crit chance is 25 percent, crit multiplier 2.0. Status chance, 30%. Attack speed, a blazing 1.33. And the Obex, as well as the Prisma Obex, also retains its unique slam attack, which deals electric damage and stuns enemies hit by the attack. Now, the... <laughs> This weapon is, like I said, it's very unique because it does crit chance and status chance, and it does both very well, which is a unique feature not only amongst sparring weapons, but there's not a whole lot of melee weapons in general uh, that can pull off both of those on the same build and do them well. But I'm proud to say that this, uh, but these can. Uh, now this is my first build here. Brutal Tide is my stance, though because I've formed this weapon with two V polarities, you can actually put Grim Fury on uh, with a mismatched polarity and still have enough points. Uh, primed pressure point, obviously, for your damage. And then the next three mods are your crit build. You've got Blood Rush, Berserker, and Body Count. Uh, those are uh, increasing your combo counter, your crit chance increasing based on your combo counter, and your attack speed going up based on crits. The last four mods in both of these two first builds are going to be all 60% elemental damage, 60% status chance. Uh, you need all four to be 60-60s because that's what you need to get to 100% status chance. Uh, now this second build is a little different. I went Primed Fury and Primed Reach uh, instead of a more traditional crit build. I also added on Entropy Detonation, which is the new scaling damage mod from Cephalon Suda. Basically when you perform lethal ground attacks, uh, enemies will take an additional 20% damage on top of a thousand blast damage. It's an interesting mod. I figured I'd squeeze it in on one of these builds just for fun. Uh, now this third build is very similar. It features that Primed Fury and that Primed Reach with the Entropy Detonation, but instead of four 60-60 uh, elemental mods, I've got two 90% elemental mods and two 60% uh, elemental damage, 60% status chance mods, uh, just to kind of switch it up to to show you guys what it's going to be like to have uh, less, uh, more damage and less status chance. Uh, personally, uh, <laughs> this weapon already kind of deals crap damage, so having that 100% status chance kind of saves it and allows you to proc that corrosive that was going to reduce armor, or proccing radiation to confuse enemies, or gas, or whatever status effect you happen to have on. Uh, that's going to be your focus, not necessarily damage. But I did want to present a build that uh, focused more on damage. Uh, now, personally, because this weapon's attack speed is so high, already and it has a really solid uh, crit chance uh, 
it, the first build is definitely what I'm going to be running uh, primarily. Uh, Entropy Detonation is an interesting mod, and it definitely uh, will have some room on uh, some builds. I just don't think lethal ground attacks are going to be that common, especially towards late game. Uh, especially not when you can just uh, smash the E button and deal considerably more damage and considerably uh, more status effects uh, with that. Uh, again, I'd have to put some actual testing into that, but I would say that I, I, that assumption is pretty accurate. Uh, again, the slam attacks are nice, but when you get rolling with that, uh, with the crit multiplier and the combo counter, I feel like that will be much more viable. Uh, now, I'm sure you could kind of finagle it in a way that you have entropy detonation on, uh, as well as a modest crit build, and the 100% status. If you want to work it that way, be my guest. But it's it's really tough. Plus, Entropy Detonation only works uh, when you actually kill someone with a slam attack. So you kind of have to take that into consideration as well. Uh, these weapons being uh, lower damage uh, versus a lot of other... Lower base damage versus a lot of other uh, crit weapons. So... All in all, I really, really love these weapons. Uh, they're blazing fast. They're almost a little hard to control at times. I find myself uh, <laughs> just kind of uh, punching the air because I've sl slightly sidestepped an enemy and uh, was not able to correct fast enough before my combo finished. But overall, it's a lot of fun. This is definitely the most fun I've had with a... A sparring weapon probably my entire time here in Warframe uh, quite frankly uh, but let me know what you guys think of the Prisma Obex in the comment section down below until next time I've been your host of the most as always Francois 878 signing off